Why are you staring at me like that? Singled out and rejected by mom. I didn't want her. How do you think she feels when she learns she wasn't supposed to be alive? I don't care. You want me to lie? I, I gotta get a body What's here. going on? Lose that chip on your shoulder and get over yourself. You want answers out of my mom. Does she want to have a relationship? Does she really know who my father is? You stood in my damn face. Stop here. blaming everybody else okay. and take responsibility. I can't get it. Right now. Thanks for coming in and thanks for watching. Abandonment, abuse, and neglect. Three painful wrongs none of us ever want to experience. But when your mom does it to you personally, the pain can be almost too much to bear. Take a look at this. My name is Brittany, and I'm here because I need answers from my mother. I'm here to find a bandit. I was only two years given up for adoption. I always knew that I was adopted, even though no one ever told me. I was 19 when I finally found out who my parents were, and that my mother had raised five other siblings without me. I have so many questions that I need answered. I really need to know I was single. My heart breaks every day when I think about how she gave me up. Why was I the only one that she didn't want? Why? Please welcome Brittany to the show. Brittany, how you doing, honey? I'm doing good. All right. Why are you here today? I'm here, Bill, because when I was two years old, but what doesn't make sense to me is my older siblings, and she raised my younger siblings, but I was the only one that she gave up for adoption. So today, you want answers from your mom. She wants answers from your mom. She raised five others, yes, five. but she rejected. Yes. Any inkling as to why? I have no idea. You want to find out? Yes. Do you have early memories of your life? No, I don't. None? None. Have you blotted them out? Have you heard things that yeah. happened to you? Family members have told me about that she abused me, that she put me in a drawer, that she put me in a freezer, she burned me. I mean, it's so much. And when I asked her about it, she denied everything, but, you know. So you, you were born biologically of your mom. Yes. And you finally saw her two or three months ago. You went into the adoptive system. Yes. Then you were rejected when you were a teenage girl from your adoptive parents. Yes. Then you went back into the foster care yes. system. Is that correct? That's correct. And what impact has that had on your life? Your life? It's made me a stronger person, honestly. I don't look like what I've been through and I'm blessed. So. Now everybody has two parents, not just What about your father? He's in my life, um, but it wasn't his decision to give me away. He went to jail. Um, he went to jail was... for? For for murder. Murder? Yes. Your father is a murderer? Yes. And weren't you told your mother was dead? Yes, I was. Explain My, that. When I was 17, I had a social worker, and one thing about me is I never gave up. About me is I never gave up looking for my mom, you know, my siblings. And because I used to always, you know, bug them about trying to find my family, I guess I irritated my social worker and she lied to me and said that my mother was dead. So me not having any information, I had nothing, nothing, you know, I, I didn't have any information so I had to believe what she said. So for two years, I just thought my mom was dead and I felt hurt to take her from and it broke my heart. You yes. want to grieve your mother's death, you did that and then you found out she's not dead. So you don't know which way to go. So right. you connected with, her on, connected with her on social media. Yes. And what happened? She found my Facebook from my older sister and she told me to call her. She gave me her number. Were and, you shocked? Yes, because it's like happy well, or sad. No, I was I was happy, but then it was mixed emotions because at one point, then it just jumps to she's alive and she wants to talk to me on the phone. I'm like, you know, <laughs> I didn't. I just kind of went with it. I didn't. Did, did, did other family members mention to you about the abuse that you went through that you've blocked down? Yes. Alleged abuse. Yes. And you were told what from other family members? I was told that. Um, she, I was, I was premature, so I was premature, so I was told that she put me in a drawer and she closed it. Oh, wow. It was several family members, not just one, multiple people telling me, yes, she did this, yes, she did this. So I'm like, starting to believe it, you know, I only can go off of what people are telling me, so I'm like, I, I asked her about it. What, she, she denied? She denied everything, everything I asked her. Did you believe your mom when she said not abuse you? Did you believe that at the time? No. You believe she I had. Can look it in her, I can see it in her eyes. So why would you want to connect with your mom then if she abused you? 
Because growing up, nobody, like, a lot of people don't understand how it feels to be a teenage girl and not have a relationship with your mother. And after everything that I've been through, it's like, after all these years, I didn't spend all those years looking for her dead end. Like, you know, I'm not the type of, I left everything that I had in California. I had my apartment. I was starting college, everything. I dropped everything. I dropped everything because to me, it's like, I waited my whole life for this. So if I have to put school back, I'm going to put school back. It's okay. I can go later, you know? So I dropped everything that I had. Um, I took a bus. Um, I took a bus from California to, to Iowa. Yes, so that was a two-day trip. <laughs> you, your life, you want a family, brothers and sisters yes. and aunts and uncles and a mother. Yes. Your, your dad's out of the picture permanently, but you, you would get off the bus in Iowa. Open. She comes up to me and she hugs me and she's crying. And I'm like... But you had I, no tears. No, no tears at all. Why? It's, it was something about it. it. To me, it was like it was fake. I always pictured that moment when I was little. I thought I would cry and just hug her and hold her. But when she hugged me, I was just, no, no emotion. No. I didn't feel anything. Why did you contact me to reconnect with your, with your mom and to meet for the first time today one of your siblings? Why? Because. You still have that earn, that, that I do. I have that drive, drive. It's not, I don't know what it is about me, but I just don't want to give up. And I don't want anybody to say, you didn't try it with her. You know, you just listened to what everybody said. No, I'm obviously her on the show, you know, to get answers. And you that's want why to I find out who you are. Yes. And you want a family. You want answers from her. There's at least two sides to every story. There's. And your mom has a story to tell. Please welcome Brittany's mom, Demetria, to the show. Demetria, come on out. Like that? Yes. You've heard what your exactly. Daughter, that's you've heard what your exactly. Daughter, that's why I'm upset. Tell me. Upset at what? Because you believe everything. I put you in a drawer. I put you in a flat to you. But when I told you, it wasn't good enough for you. Because of what everybody I, no. telling me. That Who is everybody? Were they there, Brittany? Were they there? Were they there? Were they there? Were they there? Obviously, if they the person you. that was there is dead. What I happened? Don't believe you. I'm over the drawer. Put Why my makeup you put on. You was little. Drawer. You was you little. On the bed. It, it, it doesn't bed. matter. My that son was no jumping out over the bed. I didn't call over the bed. I didn't close the. I didn't close the drawer. I didn't, drawer. I didn't drawer. close the drawer. That makes no sense. You still put a baby in a drawer. I can do what I want. And that's why we're in the situation that we're in. The you drawer wasn't closed. Why did you do what you did? I didn't want her. I didn't want her. I was going to give her. I was going to give her up from the beginning. When. I was with my ex. That was only an overnight thing. My husband, for 21 years, I was with him. And then when I came up, when I was pregnant with her, I already knew from the jump. I knew from the jump. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want the baby. And you wanted to terminate the pregnancy. Yes, I did. How do you think she, she now not learns she wasn't supposed to? I don't care. Oh. What do you mean? You, gave, you, went, through the, you went through the pain. Are you okay, Chris? <laughs> I don't. I think that's a weapon. You. I don't think you believe that. You don't think you believe that. You want to hurt her, and you said that to make her feel bad when you don't believe it. Why well, did not make you get up and leave California? That was your choice. She wanted to I leave told you, you, I told you to stay there, didn't I? I told you to stay. Was coming there to you. I wanted you to stay there, go to a job. But no, you listened to my ex. She oh, wanted to I'm find out who she was. She wants to anchor it. She wants a family. But she wants a her, loving mother. I was coming her. I didn't want her to uproot anything. I was coming to her. What what name do you have on your chest, Brittany? Of her name. X it out. X it out. X it out. I'd have to think, Mom, you're doing this in retaliation. Can't be your true feelings. In the audience, can this be her true feelings? I pray to God, no. What is it? I gotta because find she out. she believed everybody else. I, I but you didn't did you abuse her? Did her? No, I did, did not. You abuse Bill. her? No, I did not. No, I did not, Bill. Uh, uh, no, I did not. God is your witness. You God didn't is do. my witness. I have I seven. My witness. I have I seven not. children. Never had CPS in my house. Why did you have any? Why did you keep six and not the seven? I didn't want me to lie. Wow. We have more coming up. Stay right there. The hits just keep on coming. If God asked me the seven kids which one to take, I would have taken you. And this relationship reaches its breaking point. My kids is tired of you disrespecting you. You won't believe what happens next. I do not think it is a good idea for these two sisters to reunite. 
Whoa! I'm a dud. Brittany, I do believe that your high expectations led to your broken heart. And you also need to just back off with the past be the past. Let's move on. Today's about connections between month break this down. I like to say again, I'm a parent. You cannot be heartfelt in your comments toward Brittany. There's gonna be a lot of times parents use webs because they're in pain and you want her to feel as bad as you're feeling. When you got that when she got to Iowa, imagine taking a two day trip on a bus trip on a bus to see her mom <coughs> and to connect with her siblings. And then a big blow up took place. What happened in Iowa when she came there what happened that caused you to say that's it everything was fine we were talking she'd get in my bed we we talk we'd watch tv i'd ask her about her life i would tell her about my life i would tell her about her sisters and you did life. not stop lying see this is the problem you so you didn't get in my bed we didn't I talk did. what did we talk about we didn't, what did we talk about we didn't talk about anything you sat there in the bed and watched tv what did we talk about what were you doing on the phone but what okay. we did talk you I but only time you. you brought only no. time out is when y'all when i'm telling you oh your mom did this first your mom all, did that first of all you're the one that gave me away i didn't give me away so what? you should have brought me to your house and explain so things wrong and explain so things right in there why? i didn't have to come to you why? about anything why why do you hate you us did? why do you hate you her so much i didn't say i hate her what is she Hate her. Your behavior I indicates to me that you hate her. I just her. don't want to deal with her. How do you love her and treat she her like this? On the you stage, don't know but me. oh, on the phone, talking big mess, and on Facebook, talking big mess, and all you that. You disowned me. You called me ugly. You called me a beast. You called me fat. You said I'm but not what did from you. Say that you said I need a DNA. What? I need a DNA test. You're not mine. My kids is tired of you disrespecting me. You I don't want to be. I don't want you in my life. I don't care. Maybe I would want she you in my life. She you need to get out, get out the path. You did, shut up. She, she came on the show to show out. She That's what you she got. Didn't even we came here because of you. We came here because of you. You wanted to be on TV. Shut up. Mom, hold on. You wanted the drama to keep going. Let me read. You wanted the drama to keep going. Let me read three. I want you in my life. All right, hold on, hold on, honey. These are three screenshots from Mom. One. I didn't even love you enough to go to the doctor when I was pregnant with you. You said. The worst time in my life was when I found out I was pregnant with you. If God asked me out of the seven kids, which one do you want me to take? I, w I would have taken her. I would have taken you. You're trash. So I am. Is that You're the way trash. you truly feel? Honestly. There was a reason why I put that on there from all the comments. You're that trying to hurt her. There. You're trying to hurt her. Well, why she want to hurt me? She wants to connect with you connect. in this show. You don't connect with nobody like that, Bill. I was giving away. I didn't connect with my mother like that. Shut up. That's you shut up. You're trying to play the victim. You're trying to play the victim. You're trying to play the victim. You, you didn't know. First of all. You're the victim. You're the victim. First of all. Shut up. That was your two kids at 19. I'm so almost what? 20 years old. So I don't got me. no kids. You, and I'm married, too. Old. And I'm married, But too. you wasn't married when you had all them babies. Oh, I'm married yeah. now. Okay, I'm married then. So I'm married. Married. This is an odd way to show in love, mama. That's it. This is an odd way to show in love. That's it. I love her. That's it. No, you don't. I don't want her in my life. I don't want her in my kids' life. Because all she is is drama. Drama? How about you? Drama because I'm How about you, mama? Are you coming with drama? How about you? When, when, when Brittany hears, I didn't want you. I wanted to terminate the pregnancy. I, I wanted to terminate the pregnancy. I, I don't want to be around I you. To be I don't that. like you, and okay. I don't want to. Oh. I'll ask you this question: what? Is that in there, or was there a comment before that? You text me when I left your house, going back to New Mexico with my father. You said if you go back with your dad, I don't want nothing to do. You disowned me from the minute I got to Iowa. And why did you get mad? If I abused you, I put you in a drawer, I put you in a freezer, I did a freezer, I did all these things. Why would you want to be in my life? Let's do this. You have a sibling, a sister, that you've never physically... I don't want to meet her. She back there showing out. She could stay back there. Well, but you're jealous this. of her, she... remember? Jealous you of run who? your mouth on Facebook all the time. And you do We're jealous. We have the proof. We this, we that. But because you said something first, little girl, what? I told you to leave little me girl, alone. I'm grown. I'm grown. Leave me alone. Okay. I did a good thing. the sister myself. Brittany I'm never met. I'm Stay right talking. there. We're coming back. Oh Th this God. is your one time. I'm, she wants to reunite with her blood sister, she and that's you. She wants to reunite with her blood sister. Yeah. And but she don't you want to meet your sister? Me jealous. I'm not jealous. Don't you want to meet her? No. We got to meet her. You got to meet her. I'm going right back to my Catch my Now I bought this What? Uh, we don't Whoa! I'm a
Let's do this. I do not think it is a good idea for these two sisters to reunite in this climate. The emotions are too high. We may try later on, but I don't think it's going to work. My goal is to reunite this family. My goal is not to cause problems. This is a problem because they can't get along and they've ne never physically met. Imagine if they do meet what's going to happen. I can't take responsibility. And I don't want her back up on her because she drama. And she believed liars. I'm telling her, I told her the truth. I thought I would do anything to show you. I'm telling you the truth. You're lying, you're lying. She don't believe me. So what else am I supposed to do? She makes me want to hate her. Will these sisters finally reunite? Hey, but where's the paperwork, Bill? Still, where's the police know. report, I don't Bill? I don't, know. I don't know either. Don't Fine, know. right? What, do you want to meet her? Another mother confrontation that you can't miss. You stood in my damn face. You stood in my damn face. That's your mama. That's your mama. That's your mama. Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live in the New York City area. And when free ticketing of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-7110-8425 for your chance to talk back with Bill. Welcome back. It may not be good, may not be healthy, may not be safe at this point to have Britney's sister, Nichelle, with Britney. So we're going to wait on that. Anybody, anybody going to touch her? going to touch her. We may do that. But tell me your side of the story. She's yeah. a liar, Bill. You, you, you've never am, met am her. Am I abused? I was not abused, Bill. You were not abused. I was not abused. Can, can you put yourself in her place for a moment? That she she heard stories she I was. Have. She heard stories she was thrown aside. She heard stories she, she, story she wasn't loved. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. In her mind, she was abused, neglected, ignored. And when she, one time she connects with her birth mother and possibly with her sister, she is then getting a big fight. Can, can you put for a moment and understand from her I perspective? I did, Bill. Before she even, before she even moved to my mom's house, I've been telling her, why would, why would you pack your <laughs> Sorry. Why would why you, pack, would you your, pack your stuff? Your stuff to move with people that you don't know. Because it's her mother. I understand and that. And it's her sister. I understand that. But if I was and it's her sister. I understand that. But if I was a doctor, she I would. She wants a family. And I would go visit my mother. I'm not going to pack my stuff in my apart on my own apartment. But Mom, that shows right. you the depth yeah, right. of love she has yeah, for right. her family. I wish I would. Why I wish you I would miss out on school. Why are you angry? Because she, was, she brought she brought us on Bill show to air our dirty laundry. That's but you came, she came not to air laundry. Yes, but she did. Connect. Yes, she did. She wants a relationship. She put on Facebook all this stuff. All this stuff. We were going to reunite. Two sisters together. You've never physically seen her, correct? No, but I talked to her on the phone. <laughs> that was enough. She's gullible. She's dumb. She's dumb. What do you want from this? What do you want from this? What Michelle? do I want? Yeah. I want her to stop with all the I want her to move on with her life. Stop, stop her ass and move on with your life. Like, come on. Now everybody's perfect. Get over it. You grown teen years old. Get over it. Why got me all this junk? What, do you want to meet her? I couldn't marry my house. Why got me on Bill Cunningham show? I couldn't marry her home. She why, wanted why am I here? She drama, set this right? up. She's the author. She sure did. She, she sure did. She sure did. She got what she wanted. Drama. What's your relationship with your mom? My relationship is fine with my mom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, we fight That's what, fight that's what she on. wants. She wants the relationship you have with your with her mom. You share the same mother relationship. We sure do. Yeah. Bill, guess what? No, she moved to Iowa with my mom. This child is on my Facebook. Can I talk to you? Yeah, sure. Go, what's up? Um, I don't like it here. I'm having emotions, but I want to stay. I don't know what I want to what, what, what do you want to do then? She, what do you she's do? confused and she's she wants what do you love. She wants what do you love do? with her family. Why won't you accept the love she wants to give? Because she disrespects my mom to me. On Facebook, you the, call me all this. I don't feel comfortable putting you two in the same room, oh, much why? less on the same stage. I don't feel comfortable doing that because I can't trust. I can't trust either one. Me? I know how upset you were, and if that's the person on stage, I don't want to take responsibility. What relationship do you want with Brittany? I don't know if I can have one with her. She's too disrespectful. I understand, like, my mom. You respected her? I disrespected her about her Facebook. I Here, what I saw backstage. <gasps> don't care. You, you were ready to claw think, her you, eyes out. I sure out. was. I sure was. You, don't, you, don't sit on this stage. Don't, pay, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't disrespect my mom on stage. Don't do that. What do you want to see now? <laughs> because of, with your mother and exactly. her mother, that's what sent you over the edge. It sure did. You don't pick up two children with nothing, my mama. I don't <laughs> she is wrong. Michelle, you don't disrespect my mama. Michelle, you don't disrespect my mama. What do we do now? 
Try to come outside. Try to come out here. I want, I want to hear a side of the story that she was abused, put in a freezer. She was in a drawer. She was. Well, I don't know if it's true or false. She, I think it's a lie. She was. Oh, really? But where's the, where the police know. report, I don't Bill? I don't know. I don't know either. Don't so know. obviously they're lying, right? Yes. She might believe it whether it's true dumb. or not. And if that's stupid. That's so gullible. Right. Why are you so gullible? I don't believe if her If that was me, I would have been like, okay, um, can I, I don't believe. Can I look up on the internet how all this no. stuff? I don't no, believe, no. believe or disbelieve. I, can. I don't know. She's dumb. I don't like her because she's respectful. I don't want to see her. We have coming up. Stay right there. The bitter family battle you've been waiting for. Waiting for. No, no, man, man, I don't in my face. Man, I don't let know where you was at. Another bond at its breaking point. Why does he owe you one? If anything, we owe each other. For 11 years, you didn't know this. That's because of the employment. Stop blaming everybody else. Okay. Take responsibility. I can't get in earth. Were you taken from your family when you were a kid? Do you want to reunite with your parents and find out why, find out why they didn't fight to get you back? We'd like to help. Contact me at BillCunningMShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. Give us a call. I know I used to do drugs, but that was a long time ago. I would have been a great mother if I was given a chance, but I wasn't. Anthony, lose that tip on your shoulder and get over yourself. That family's in need of help. Later in the show, we're going to bring back Brittany, most likely alone, to talk about the problems. Deadbeat, neglectful moms or ungrateful kids who expect too much of their moms. My next guest has an answer, but is it the right one? Take a look at this. Today is the day I love. Growing up, my mom was addicted to drugs and never around. When I was 11, I found out the woman I was living with wasn't even my real mom. Everything I ever believed was a lie. My real mom? has never even bought me a pair of shoes. After my real mom gave birth to me, she thought she thought her job was done. She raised two other kids and singled me out to be unloved, alone, and homeschooled. I deserve to know why. Please welcome Anthony to the show. Anthony, how you doing? How you doing, man? Anthony, why are you here today, man? I'm here today to get answers out of my mom. I'm, 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 long story short, I'm fed up. I'm tired of all the lies. I'm tired of her constantly shooing me away every time I try to come and be with her she's pushing me away like I said over the last four years I've probably not even spent 24 hours total hours total with my mom really how old are you I'm 18 years old. 18 years old go back in time memories two three four three four five what happened there were none with her there were none, none. like Where I, didn't, was she? I didn't even know my mom was my mom until the age of 11 I didn't know the woman I was living with, I thought was my mom, and I found out that she wasn't on accident. And family knew, but they, hey, let's tell this kid before he gets too old, and then he's looking at all of us like we're crazy. How long was your mom lost to the world of drugs? A long time. Long time. And, long you, time. and you had other siblings. Long time. Were the, right. others, the other two siblings, uh, were, they with your, were they with your biological well, mom? Well, my older sister was with my biological mom for a minute, and then I don't know what. But uh, right now, as of now, she has, she has custody of my younger sister, who was only six years old. And I was, at the age of 13, I was put, put in foster care. I what kinda, do you want to see happen today, Anthony? What do you want to see? I, at want the end answers, of I want answers out of my mom. I want to I wanna know why she, does she, she, does she want to have a relationship with me? Why, why does she, all these years, has she told me that she doesn't know who my father is? Does she really know who is? Does she really know who my father is? And does she just really not want to tell me? If you really don't know who my father is, character of her. Back with your, and, the, and the other family we just had on, it didn't work so well at this right, point. Right. What do you want to see happen in your situation? I want a relationship with my, with my, I want a family, okay? I want a family, but... Like I said, hey, she ain't do none of this. I can hold down three jobs. You hear me? She ain't do none of this. I'm self-made. I'm self-made. She ain't do right. none of this. Please welcome Anthony's mother, Jasmine, to the show. Jasmine, come on out. Face, let them know. 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 Let them
Okay, what about? okay, okay. First of all, Bill, I, first of all, yes, I did use. I did use. I used for many years. I used for many years. But even it, even in my use, even Still in my used. drug use, found the way I had him <laughs> when I, I was in the treatment center. And during that treatment center, it was like a six-month treatment center. I say like at the last end, like maybe about, I was there about five months getting ready to uh, affirmate from the program. Right. And I was coming home on home visits, and I relapsed. I see this. He was with me. He was with you. He was with me. In the rehab center? Yes, he was with me. In the rehab center. Oh, baby, in the rehab center. Up until 80 months old. From the hospital, I left, and I went to the rehab center, and he was Was with me. Was he a crack baby? No, he was not a crack baby. Had to be. So if you went from the hospital to the rehab center. They said he had a trace of cocaine in his system. That means he's a crack baby. No, that does not mean he's a crack baby, because he was not. You can't be a little bit pregnant. He, he, he had crack in his he, he crack. had he had cocaine in his system. There was a trace of it. Trace of it. Does but it I matter? Had not was used it a little bit? Where did that come from, really Mama? It came from me. Yeah. But understand this too. Like I said, when I went to this treatment program, I stayed. I had about a week or two to be affirmated. And during this week or two, I went home on a home trip and I relapsed. And during this relapse was when I called my mother. To come get Anthony, so that Anthony would not have to suffer, and that he would. So with a, he, so with a relapse, be, with you coming home he, to relapse, that, that, that says that right there, you the the me right there, right? That's the that would be out. Just let me use. stay with you, okay? So yes, my mother being the mother. You saw this an act of love. Was an because act of he, because he, because I'm out in the street. You were smoking bass. That's an act of love. Was that so crack more I... important to you than Anthony? Yes, no, it was. It was. Because it was. Because if it had been, it was. 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 It so for the next 10 years, you were still in the world of drugs for the next 10 years. Yes, what do you I want to see happen you. today? But what I want to see happen, first you happen, first of all, I want question, him to stop question. blaming me. Forget the next 10 I years. I want him to stop this, for him on to drugs? be, for are him to be a bone nothing with Is his life. Is he a bone a thief? Oh, now, he's three. a thief. He came to my house. He's the seven-year-old sister. No, and he, I'm he I'm stole a... from them. Hold on, 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 hold
I was put into the foster care system. With the care system. Because you chose to go. We're legally. You're I'm not here when he was 13. I was sitting hey, at the table. Hey, 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 me, hey, him, hey, my mother. He came here because he loved you. He's here because he loved you. He don't come and stay with me. He can do what the hell. I told him, yeah, you want to do it All right, let me do this. Because I use drugs. Time out. Time out. Because I use drugs. No, 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 no,
Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our... And in. Now, had you, had you have been a good mother and, and been there for 18 years of my life, you wouldn't get disrespected. You would get treated like a queen. And unwanted. Why did you keep six and not the seven? I didn't want her. You don't want her. You want me to lie? We waited neck deep through the pain and outrage of being an abandoned child. Here to help get our guests back on dry land is psychologist Robbie Ludwig. Robbie, how you doing? I'm, I'm doing well, thank you. Let's go to Brittany first. Brittany, before weighs in, we've seen a lot from your sister and from your mother, but mainly your sister. You all came here with the idea of being happened. What's in your heart? I'm just hurt. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I keep crying because it's like, I spent all these years wanting to know my, my mom, and to get that, I regret looking for her and finding her. Robbie, what do you say to Brittany? I mean, I, I want to cry with Brittany because it's, uh, you know, the, your mother is the person who ideally, ideally, is supposed to be the person who offers you unconditional love. And so this feeling, but we don't all get all get mothers who give that. There's an idealization of motherhood that if you're a mother, you're the right mother for your child. And that's simply not the case. And sometimes the type of support we need doesn't come from, it comes from out and we find. And you know what? That's okay. What about Nichelle? What do you do now when you have this reaction from Nichelle? which is so angry, having never met Brittany, she's over the top. What would you say to Brittany about Michelle? Well, Michelle. Well, Michelle, even though you biologically have the same mother, in some ways you got a different mother, right? Because you got the reject, the rejecting mother, and Michelle got a mother who was there for her. Michelle is protecting, and she sees Brittany is, and maybe that will resolve itself, maybe not. But the bottom line is you deserve and you need to get treatments, get treatment, so you can find a way to create room in your life where you say, I loved in the right... Country. Right now, that whole relationship is too toxic. Let it go for, for a while. For right now, and I think you need to be at a different place. If you are at a place, if you are at a place where you say, my life is successful, I've found good people in my life, I'm due, and then you revisit, it might be a different scenario. She feels too guilty to apologize to you. I think that's she the case. She feels too guilty. Uh, Robbie, we got Anthony and Jasmine. Anthony was born with a little bit of cocaine in his system. Mom was in rehab. And now the relationship with Jasmine is very is very difficult. And Anthony wants the relationship. Jasmine wants the relationship. Otherwise, physicality, they wouldn't be here together and together in the same space. But look at the body language. Where do we go from here? Well, there, there's, there's disappointment. So your mother, when you were born, and on some level, she felt that she couldn't give you what you needed you needed and in some ways she really protected you unfortunately what happened was there were secrets and I don't happen but that complicated the relationship the fact of the matter is we like to think relationships are unconditional but no additional but no relationship is unconditional there are conditions in all relationships okay I see people nodding their head so I know that you're upset with your mother and I know, I'm sure you feel upset with the way things have gone. I've read that there was some things that made it difficult for your mother to be around you, some of your behaviors. Maybe. Which exhibited anger. Maybe. Maybe. So yeah. you need to figure out how to be the type of son that your mother wants to All be right. around. No, Robbie, look, Jasmine, can you say, I'm sorry. It shouldn't have happened. Not change one second of all the yesterdays, but you can change the days weeks and months of tomorrow to a different relationship without retribution without revenge from you anthony and a feeling that from this day on i'll be your son i'll be your son if you'll be my mother but the thing is maybe they can get treatment together absolutely so they can learn how to be the right parent right parent and the right son for each other and learn about each other and learn how to give each other what the two of you need and also to grieve for the lost past Yes, and, and all the upsets. And if we can help cause. a little bit with that process, Anthony, we're going to do it. I see. There's possibilities I see hope. here. Here, I have a there sense of hope for, for now. For now. For Brittany to find that she is, just, even if she happened to be born to a her that. For now, it's hopeless. But believe me. Can you me. take that message?
estrogen, though? Yes. Tomorrow okay. is another day. When we continue, is the bottom line. So go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. <laughs> Want to take a peek, peek behind the cameras? Then follow me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook. Circle me on Google+. Plus. Or follow me on Instagram because you don't want to miss a minute of the backstage drama. It's on Edema. It's on. If you've been abandoned by a parent or anyone else, here's the bottom line. There's no point in placing blame. It won't make things better and will probably make things worse. You may have questions and you have a right to ask all those questions, but you have to accept the answers you get, even though if they're not the answers you want. In order to live in a peaceful present, you've got to leave the past where it belongs in the past. And I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. waste all these years looking for you to get back. And that's the part I don't want a relationship with her. I've been fine without her. I mean, been, been emotionally kind of like rocky, but I've accomplished a lot to not have my mother. And seeing as how far I've gotten, I mean, she was 19 with three kids. I'm almost 20 with no kids. You know, it's like, it gives me ambition to do better, but at the same time, it's like, like I wish I could be like my friends and have that mommy daughter relationship, but that's not. She has issues beyond me. I can't. I can't make someone love me. I can't make someone want to be in my life. And she made that.